Um, a couple things that I was reading um, in a book that I kind of pulled off and, and I read while we were at the beach last week, I, I just kind of really got in and devoured this thing. Um, and, and I'll let you know the name of it um, um, shortly. You know, I, I do want to do some teaching out of this book. And it's actually called The Magic of Believing. Um, but just, I, I, this is going to set up what I want. And this is not going to be a long training session tonight. So just, just bear with me for a minute. Um, no one knows what thought really is. No one knows what thought really is. Other than it is some sort of mental action. Um, you are actually looking at thoughts or ideas which have come into material. I'm reading the sound bites, okay? You're actually looking, when you look at anything out there in the world, you're actually looking at thoughts or ideas which have come into materialization through the creative work of some human being. Think about that. The, the, the computer that you're watching right now, the phone that you're probably playing with right now and not listening to me, the, um, you know, the chair you're sitting in, the car you're driving. Um, think about that. Where, where did those things come from? You know, they, they originated in somebody's thought. Um, the ancestor, I really like this, the ancestor of every action is thought. The ancestor of every action is thought. Our world is governed by thought. Everything without, everything without had its counterpart originally within the mind. All that we are is a result of what we have thought. Now that's something that I really like, man, like I really, that really hit me, okay? All that we are right now currently, all that we are is a result of what we have thought. Your very life is your thinking and the result of your thinking process. But it is your mind and what you think that makes you what you are. The secret of success lies not without how many of us search for success. How many of us go out there and search for ideas and, and the, the idea of the month and things like that? How, instead of just simply waking up every day and realizing that we have what it takes and that there's, you know, there's no guru out there that's going to give you the, the, the tip of the century. That's all. I mean, it's just it's a cumulative process of gathering information, of building yourself up, developing your self-image. That, that's, that's what I'm hoping that these sound bites challenge you to understand. But it is your mind and what you think that makes you what you are. The secret of success lies not without, but within the thoughts of man. Thought impulse. The very way you walk, the very way that you carry yourself, you talk, your manner of dress, all reflect your way of thinking. So when we talk to people about dressing sharp, when we talk to people about, about making sure their car's clean, when we talk to people about making sure the way they wear their hair, even some of you guys that have facial hair, the way you wear your facial hair, it's all a, a reflection of thought. I, I'm, in, I'm in the business world. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a professional golfer. Okay, even though I love the way Phil Mickelson has the long hair, like I love that. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I don't go out there and play for a million dollars on, on Sunday afternoons. I'm in the insurance business. It's my job to go into somebody's home and relate to them. Okay, do you guys think that I want to wear, you know, Equus Financial golf shirts and, and nice uh, khaki slacks or something? I mean, y'all think that that's like, Hey, John just wants to wake up every day and put on that uniform. No, no, I don't. But that's, that's the way I found it the best to relate to people inside of their own home. Okay. I don't, I don't wear jeans. Now I know that there's some people out there that do and they get by with that. We all have things that we do that we get by with, but I'm just saying ultimately right now, my, my, my point of tonight is not teaching things you can get by on. That's not what I'm teaching. 
But if you guys, if you wear your hair outside of traditional, if you have facial hair, all of those things, the way you wear that stuff and the way you present yourself, it matters. If you don't think it matters, I'm just telling you, it, it matters. Now, we do live in a time frame where even if you look through business magazines and you even look at the top CEOs in the country, you, you won't see it a bunch, but you will see things like facial hair um, and things like that. So um, anyway, I, I hope, okay, that was not the point of tonight, but hopefully, um, hopefully I said that for, for, uh, for somebody. Okay. The very way that you walk, the very way you carry yourself, your talk, your manner of dress, all reflect your way of thinking. And it's thought process that attracts what we want, isn't it? It's thought process that attracts what we want into our lives. What you exhibit outwardly, you are inwardly. What you exhibit outwardly, you are inwardly. You are the product of your own thoughts. You are the product of your own thought. What you believe to be true, you are. Now that's dangerous because there's a lot of people out there that their, their belief of who they are is false. It's not correct. Okay, so that, that's dangerous, but that's true. Thought is the original source of all wealth. Thought is the original source of all success. Thought is the original source of all material gain, all great discoveries and inventions, and of all achievement. Thought, thought is the foundation of all of it. Thus, it becomes easy to understand what is meant by the statement that a man's thoughts make or break him. You know, uh, my, my point of the teaching session tonight is to encourage you leaders out there, if, if, if you want to be a leader, understanding those things that we just read out of this book. Um, we, we can't become who we want to become by just focusing on work all the time. We can't become who we want to become without it being an intentional act. Do y'all hear me? Seriously, I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? We can't become who we want to become. We can't become successful without it being intentional. Growing ourselves is intentional. Thinking about our organization, drawing our group out every night is intentional. Or are you doing the things that you need to do that are intentional? Are, are you reading on a daily basis? Are you speaking your goals? Are you drawing your organization out? Are you visualizing your organization's growth? Are you doing those things? Are, are, you, are you intentional? Are you, are you doing success principles? I hope that you are. I, I do think that in, 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 in a few days, we're going to be all going to Orlando, Florida. Um, matter of fact, uh, next, next week, you know, tomorrow, I think, what's the night? I think we're, we're going into Orlando. I think it's, ne no, it's, I think it's next Wednesday. So we're, we'll be flying in on Wednesday. So, man, coming up here uh, just a few short days, nine days away. And, um, yeah, I just hope that as as you start to prepare for a conference, that y yes, I, I know that if you guys are growing an organization, I, I know you want your entire team there, and I know that there's some people that should be going that aren't going, and I know that frustrates you. But at the end of the day, I'm just going to tell you, it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because what matters is your thought process. That's what matters. And see, 
the purpose of tonight is to let you know that there are important things that we can control from, from our standpoint. Is it frustrating that the person over there that really needs to be the first one in Orlando has now come up with an excuse not to go? Is that frustrating? Oh, listen, dude, I've been at this since 1993. Is it frustrating? It is incredibly frustrating. But at the end of the day, does it matter? Not at all. It doesn't matter at all. Well, John, how can you say that? It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter at all. Because do you think that Barry Clarkson has never had someone that needed to be in Orlando not go to Orlando? Yeah, probably a lot more than you and I. Has he still succeeded at a pretty high level? Yeah. Um, these success gurus out there, the, the Grant Cardones of the world, the, the – um, I can't even name them now, but you y'all know who I'm talking about. Do y'all do y'all think that everybody that, that follows them or everybody in their organization uh, does everything that they should know? So my point is is that through thought and through you controlling what you control, you actually can outgrow that. You don't let it bother you. You don't let it defocus you. Hmm. Almost want to pick that book up and read back through those things. I, I will tonight. Um, I will be meditating on those because the thing about it is, is I want that to be at the forefront of my thinking because that, that gives me, uh, a, a, that, that allows me to interrogate my reality. Um, Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? Am I doing what I was created to do? Or am I getting sidetracked by trying to influence so many people? Am I getting sidetracked by things that don't matter, that seem to matter, but am I, am I getting sidetracked? No. Here, here's what I need to do every day. I need to wake up and I need to read. I need to get my time I need to look at my organization drawn out. I need to look at the new people coming on board. I need to make sure they're being touched, that they're, they're being at least, at least given the opportunity to plug into the system, whether they will or not. I tell you, one of the things that I have gotten really good at is, is I don't micromanage my new people anymore. I used to try to do that. It used to be so frustrating because most new people are not going to do it. Most new people, they're not going to succeed at anything. Um, and it used to take up virtually all my time trying to micromanage people, try, trying to get them to do this and get them to do that. Well, you know what? You know what I'm relying on? I'm relying on the Equus system. You know, there, there, there's a whole lot of training videos on the website. If somebody wants to really learn how to go out there and make five, ten, fifteen thousand 15000 a week, they can do that. They can plug into Bill Martin's webinars. I'm not saying that I don't promote I'm just saying that I don't micromanage. I don't try to make chicken poop. I don't try to make chicken salad out of chicken poop. I guess that's, that's a different way of saying it. People that want to win, let me tell you something. I'm not going to be the reason why people win, and I'm not going to be the reason why people don't win. Do you all understand? I'm not going to be the reason why people win. I'm not going to be the reason why people join Equus Financial. Okay? All I do is provide an opportunity and people either want it or they don't want it, okay? There's no magic in that. The magic is, is am I taking care of who I am? Am I continuing to become the type of person that people want to be in business with? And am I going out there and sharing the Equus opportunity every single day? Am I going into people's homes and am I putting my name on five applications a week, week in and week out? Am I, am I developing a healthy personal cash flow that makes me understand that my lifestyle is not dependent upon one dime of override? That's my job. That's my job. And the better I go out there and do it, the better, the more peace that I have, the better I feel. And consequently, the more our organization grows. I mean, there, there's, there's a, that's a phenomenon, okay? 
because I certainly, from an ego standpoint, I wish our organization would have grown faster when I was not in the field selling and I was literally, you know, trying to build everybody's organization and, and hey, I'll do, X, I'll do 15 interviews for you a week or I'll do this. And, no, when I did that, we, we man, it was painful. Gro growth was painful. Any growth that we had, it was almost like one step forward, three steps back. You know, two steps forward, one step back. You know, it just, it just was like, it was painful. But I'll tell you what, the last three years have been anything but painful. Um, thought is important. Understand your thoughts. Seek to understand your thoughts. Seek to feed your thoughts. Change your thoughts and you change your life. I love you and you have what it takes. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.